What is going on everybody? It's Ralph with Pondscapes out on another project. Let's take a look and see what we're up to. All right, so we are real close to home, which is exciting because it's not a long commute to get to the job site. We are in Queen Creek, Arizona, and we are in a very cool setting. So uh, we are on a uh, acreage property. I'm not sure quite how big it is, but it's a decent sized property. They've got uh, all kinds of stuff going on here but we've got a cool little garden. This family is big time into trees and plants and uh, different uh, things that you really don't typically see out in Arizona, especially out in the middle of the desert. So I'm gonna show you some of this stuff and show you what we're up to. All right guys, so what we've got is our pond layout. We've got a eight foot by 10 foot pond. It's gonna be 24 inches deep. Here is our skimmer. There is our biofall, pretty straightforward layout. We're gonna have plumbing going from there over to there. That's gonna create our waterfalls. And uh, there is adequate space in between the garden area and the backyard for a nice walkway. Uh, something that we are also doing on this project is some concrete cloth. Uh, if you've seen this before in other videos, you know that this is uh, Portland cement infused fabric that is going to go under our uh, waterfall area in between the, the ground and the liner to protect that liner from any kind of ground critters that are out here. We know we're out in the, the desert on uh, horse property, so we know there's gonna be gophers and mice and stuff like that. So we wanna protect that liner behind that waterfall. That's typically where they would get in. So that is it. Blake, are you ready? Jaron, are you ready? Insert time lapse now. <laughs> Insert. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here we are a few short moments later. Jaron, I am going to tell everybody right now, you lied to them. What? Do you, re do you know what the last thing you said was? Oh, yeah. Uh, Time lapse in three, two, one. Got to turn it on. Not Blake. <laughs> All right, so imagine seeing this get dug out. <laughs> this was actually a very quick and easy dig this is about as easy as i have ever seen a dig in arizona all right so this was the complete polar opposite of what you may have seen on our videos before digging in arizona can always be a surprise this was like digging in coffee beans about as easy as it gets so now what we're going to do drop in that fabric you know the rest the liner a little more fabric and start boop, 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 rocking out. Now hit the time lapse. So the homeowner has these really cool fire hydrants. They wanted to incorporate into the pond. Now he gave us two options. Preferably we wanted this yellow one, but he said this is acceptable if we can't make that yellow one work. And really the biggest reason for one or the other is the flange on the bottom, the base. What we're gonna do with this is we're gonna put it in boulder work and gravel around it. So it is going to be secure. So we are gonna go with the uh, yellow one and that's gonna, have water spilling out of this area just a nice trickle he didn't want something overbearing or too powerful so we're just going to have like a nice little trickle coming out of that fire hydrant
Okay, so things are looking good. We've got majority of the pond rocked in and we've got that hydrant set. So that's the idea of the location. And uh, then what I wanna do to the left of it is uh, that'll be a plant pocket so we can uh, plant next to it and soften it up. And a little bit right here in front uh, to have some plants cascading out. Now, a couple things that we're talking about is actually leaving that face cap on and leaving it real loose and letting that water just leak out of the threads or taking it off, having it actually dribble out that open port. So we'll talk to the homeowner about that, see what he likes better. It'll be really easy to uh, do one or the other. And uh, once uh, we come back, we will be at the point to where we can uh, start uh, doing the work to create our boulder retention and building our waterfall. All right, so we've got our frame rocks all set in the pond that brings us into where we're gonna start building our waterfall. Uh, we pulled uh, some of this elevation back so we can shelve back and uh, build up. Uh, this'll be like the foundation of our waterfall. And then what Blake is doing right now is uh, high-fiving dirt. <laughs> all right, so now what we wanna do is we're getting our elevation set for our biofall and that will get in place and then we'll run our plumbing over to the back of that and uh, uh, glue that up. And then uh, as we build the front of this, we'll build and work our way up and out and connect our liner to the biofall and start building our dirt up and around the backside of that biofall, working our way backwards out of the pond. Alright guys, so here we are ready to start building this waterfall. This is going to be a small cute little waterfall, but we're taking an important step. So guys, whether you are a DIYer or a professional contractor or just getting into the business, situations like this, you want to be aware of what you're getting into, what you're building, uh, what could happen. So you can see we're on some farmland and there are mice, field rats, gophers, all that stuff all around. And what will happen is they like to set up shop and dig behind boulders. Um, so we're gonna make that very difficult for them because we're dropping in this concrete cloth. But on top of that, we also have our really heavy duty rock pad. Uh, and that goes all the way from this edge to this edge to the bottom of the pond. So this concrete cloth, once we build on top of that, and we hose it down, get it wet. It activates, hardens up like concrete and makes it impenetrable for those little critters. And we've got a happy pond, right? guys all done so we came back I put in the fish and they are getting uh, introduced to their new home and loving it the homeowners uh, were telling me how the birds are already coming in and uh, exploring around see where they can get uh, up close and personal get drinks the bees are landing on the lily pads to get uh, their drinks actually there's one right now and of course, we always like to put rocks in that are real low profile to the pond or waterfall. So butterflies and smaller lizards and uh, bees and uh, hummingbirds can get into the water and not uh, have uh, a bunch of splash or uh, current to worry about. So there's a perfect spot right there for them to get in and get those drinks. And listen to the sound of that waterfall. Just perfect. All right guys, that's it for us on this project. Let us know what you thought. And if you have a favorite part of this pond, let us know what it is in those comments down below. All right, we will see you on the next project. Thanks for watching.